Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray. And my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Argentina, and they take on Saudi Arabia. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Promising attack, this. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Must take the lead here. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Messi. Well, very effective. Can he put it in? And just like that, Lionel Messi has scored. The first goal was always going to be important. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. 1-0 then. For Argentina. Number 10. Lionel oh, he's given the ball Messi. away. Oh, tremendous vision. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Now, who can he play it to? Cleared away comprehensively. So, getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Would the club secretary please note Mr. Moon is in the building? Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And that is going to be a free kick. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the final whistle is sounded. It is a victory on match day one for the home side. And, and Stuart, you can't really argue with that. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Hello and welcome to the Al Fight Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. It's Argentina versus Poland. Well, thanks, Derek. These fans will be hoping for another good display today. They played really well in that opener. This should be an excellent game. Ball back with Argentina now. Sebastian Szymanski. Plenty of support here. Martinez. Di Maria. No nonsense clearance. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, the header at least made the goalkeeper think. Martinez. Plenty of options. Messi. Effort from long distance. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Di Maria. On to Messi. An astute piece of defending. The three the minutes of added time here. Zalewski. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was everything but. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Oh, 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 
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Di Maria. There to win it back. Di Maria. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Really getting stuck in defensively. Please report to guest relations to And the keeper reacting just as we would have expected. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. And time for the change now. Zielinski. Jurovsky. Are they going to forge ahead? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Can they forge ahead? And the keeper making sure. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. And the play stop. They will make the change now. Can he put it away? And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Goal. Well, a dramatic Goal. moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Lionel Messi. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. The and one minute of stoppage time has been be added on. And the final time. whistle, a victory for Argentina. Precisely what their fans were hoping for, Stuart. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And two games in the books already for these two sides. This, their final group stage test. It's Argentina versus Mexico. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Paredes. Interception to snuff out the danger. And Messi! And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. goal. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Number 10. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Jimenez. Jimenez, and he's broken free. And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Goal. So underway Four again, Mexico. following the goal that Number made nine. things level. Raul Jimenez. They need to get tighter. But they took care of the situation defensively. Edson Alvarez. Oh, what an opportunity! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacts. Can he put them in front? He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2 1 currently. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good. Jimenez! Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Martinez. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match.
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And they need to get tighter here. Guardado. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Opportunity here. Really important tackle. Struggling to get it away. It's, oh, surely. And that is defending of the highest order. Guardado. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. The first official has and just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And now it's over. And Argentina have to reflect on what has gone wrong here. It's a defeat and not something that they were hoping to have to digest. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Argentina versus France. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Martinez. Is it going to be? And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And smuggled behind for another corner. Still not clear. Benzema. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? The outcome is a goal kick here. Ball forward. Messi. Firing is in. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Goal. And France gets the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Chouameni. Can, they... can he make it count? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Martinez. The fourth official has and the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes, minutes are in order. Time. And he's made headway. Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. And with that, the first half drives to a close. Well, back underway, and there can be no denying it. A huge gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from France in the second? Coman. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Could pull one back here. Rodrigo de Paul. Yes, man. Kylian Mbappe. The fourth official. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute, minute here. Time. Karim Benzema. Now Griezmann. Can he get one back? Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And there we have. 
have it. The referee brings this game to an end. Argentina have made it through to the last day. Well, I thought they played well today. They controlled the flow of the game. They created numerous chances and they showed a lot of energy. They'll be fairly happy going into the next round. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is this World Cup quarter-final. It's Argentina against England. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here. What can they do from here? Is it going to be? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Good technique displayed. This could level it. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? So England behind and looking for inspiration from this corner. And this situation could be dangerous. Really important tackle. Di Maria. De Paul. Messi. Now with Martinez. And it might be. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. 2-0 now, and back on the way. Argentina, number seven. Really getting stuck in defensively. The first official has indicated well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Time. That is that for the first half here. And back underway here, no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulp between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from England in the second? Di Maria. Chance for Di Maria. Oh, surely. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Three minutes added time. Sterling. Now with Mount. And the final whistle is sounded. Progression is assured. They'll be taking part in the semi-finals. Well, I thought they played well today. They controlled the flow of the game. They created numerous chances and they showed a lot of energy. They'll be fairly happy going into the next round. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we're about to bring you a very big occasion indeed, the semi-final of the World Cup. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, this could be an absolute classic, and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Di Maria. And tidily played. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. goal. And the ball is moving again. Two numbers how it stands. Number 22, Lautaro Martinez. 
Neves. Ruben Neves. Joao Cancelo. Highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Oh, big opportunity! And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, here it is again. Messi's cross really invites somebody to go and attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. <laughs> Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-time performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. indicated there will be a minimum of four minutes of added time. Rafael Leao. Magnificent challenge from Otamendi. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. Defenders will be removed from the stadium. And off and running again here. There was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Portugal in the second? And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And he has options available. And the referee allow it. Can he put it away? It's gone in! Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Goal Underway again with the score of 3-1. Well, it's one pass after another. Well, honest, can he get one back? Oh, another one for them! And with plenty of time still remaining, this game... Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Goal. 3 2 it Portugal. is. Who would have predicted Number that before a ball was kicked? Ruben Neves. Martinez. Is it going to be? In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal. Truly dream of the final now. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Number 11. Leal. And with the goalkeeper. Martinez and there goes the whistle music to the ears of all their fans Ladies and they've only the kind of made it through to the football. World now, Cup and final and well it was a good game wasn't it they dominated most of the play and fully deserved their win to be in the final but they would need to defend much better than they did today hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning we find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Now well, Molina. Paredes. Molina. Martinez. It's with Paredes. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Marquinhos. Great opportunity. And it's in. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. goal. And Brazil get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to the setback? Danilo. Interception to snuff out the danger. Di Maria. 
Rodrigo de Paul. Moving the ball forward with purpose. With the try, and narrowly off target here. Well, it's still all to play for, but that was a good effort, wasn't it? The we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Fred. And so it is, the first half story has been written. May I please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. The defenders will be removed from the stadium. Second half is underway. Brazil behind. Can they turn this match on its head? Here is Fred. And he's in. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. Gabriel Jesus. And in with a real chance. Oh, and the flag goes up. Well, he needs to be more aware there. He didn't work hard enough to stay on side. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. And back with Emiliano Martinez. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time. And you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Messi. Half-time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? Fred. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a goal! And how important can that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Goal. So the ball is rolling again. Two on the score. What? And there it goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about the that. The first official has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute.